Transportation is the backbone of civilization. It connects us to opportunities, resources, and each other. Efficient transportation systems are essential for economic growth. They facilitate trade and commerce. They provide access to jobs, education, and healthcare. Imagine a world without efficient transportation. Goods would be slow to arrive. People would struggle to reach their destinations. Cities would grind to a halt. The importance of well-planned transportation systems is clear. Effective transportation planning is crucial to address these needs. It is a complex process that requires careful consideration of many factors. These factors include population growth, land use, economic development, and environmental impact. Transportation planning is not a one-time event. It is a continuous cycle of assessment, planning, implementation, and evaluation. This ensures that transportation systems remain efficient, sustainable, and responsive to the changing needs of society. The transportation planning process follows a continuous cycle. This ensures that systems adapt to evolving needs. It begins with a vision for the future of transportation. What kind of transportation system do we aspire to have? What are the long-term goals we want to achieve? Once a vision is established, the next step is to define the problems. These problems could be anything from traffic congestion to lack of public transit options. After identifying the problems, we need to set clear objectives and targets. These provide specific and measurable benchmarks for success. With a clear understanding of the problems and goals, we can start exploring potential improvement strategies. These strategies could involve expanding public transit, building new roads, or implementing smart traffic management systems. Each strategy comes with its own set of costs and benefits. A thorough evaluation is essential to determine the most effective and sustainable solutions. We need to consider factors such as cost effectiveness, environmental impact, and community acceptance. Once the optimal strategies are identified, a comprehensive plan is developed. This plan outlines the specific actions, timelines, and resources required for implementation. The implementation phase involves putting the plan into action. This could include constructing new infrastructure, launching new transit services, or implementing policy changes. Monitoring and feedback are crucial throughout the entire process. They help us track progress, identify any issues, and make necessary adjustments. This continuous cycle ensures that transportation systems evolve and improve over time. This creates a more efficient and sustainable transportation future. The first step in the transportation planning process is to establish a clear vision. This vision should articulate the long-term aspirations for the transportation system. It should be ambitious, yet realistic. The vision acts as a guiding star, providing direction for all subsequent planning decisions. A well-defined vision considers multiple factors. These include economic growth, population growth, and environmental sustainability. For example, a city might envision a transportation system that is safe, efficient, equitable, and environmentally sustainable. This vision statement highlights the city's commitment to multiple goals. The vision should be developed through a collaborative process. This process involves engaging stakeholders, such as government agencies, community groups, and transportation experts. Public input is also crucial to ensure that the vision reflects the needs and values of the community. Once the vision is established, it is important to translate it into specific goals. Goals are more concrete and measurable statements that outline what the transportation system aims to achieve. For example, a goal related to the vision of environmental sustainability could be to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from transportation 
by 20% by 2030. This goal sets a specific target and a timeline for achieving it. With a clear vision and goals in place, the next step is to identify the existing transportation problems. This step involves a comprehensive assessment of the current transportation system. Data collection and analysis are crucial to understanding the nature and extent of the problems. Transportation problems can be diverse and interconnected. Understanding the root causes of these problems is essential for developing effective solutions. By carefully analyzing the data and considering the interplay of various factors, transportation planners can gain a deeper understanding of the problems. This understanding lays the foundation for developing targeted and effective solutions. Once the transportation problems have been identified, the next step is to set clear objectives and targets. Objectives are specific statements that describe the desired outcomes of the transportation plan. Targets are measurable benchmarks that define the level of achievement for each objective. Objectives and targets provide a framework for evaluating the success of the transportation plan. They help ensure that the plan is focused on achieving specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound or smart outcomes. For example, if a major problem identified is traffic congestion during peak hours, an objective could be to reduce average commute times during peak hours. A corresponding target could be to reduce average commute times by 15% by 2028. Setting clear objectives and targets helps to focus efforts. Objectives and targets provide a clear direction for the planning process, ensuring that all efforts are aligned towards achieving the desired outcomes. They also help measure progress. Targets provide a benchmark for measuring the effectiveness of the implemented strategies and the overall success of the plan. Additionally, clearly defined objectives and targets help hold decision makers accountable for the outcomes of the transportation plan. Objectives and targets should be developed in consultation with stakeholders. This ensures that they reflect the needs and priorities of the community. Regular review and, if necessary, adjustment of objectives and targets is crucial to adapt to changing circumstances and ensure the plan remains relevant and effective. Once we have set our objectives and targets, the next step is developing improvement strategies to help us achieve them. This involves brainstorming and exploring a wide range of possible solutions that address the identified problems. These strategies can be both operational, like optimizing bus schedules, and capital intensive, like constructing new transit lines. We can, for instance, Consider innovative approaches, such as adopting electric buses to reduce emissions, implementing carpool programs to decrease the number of single occupancy vehicles on the road, or upgrading traffic signal systems for better flow management. Each strategy is assessed for its potential to contribute effectively toward our targets, ensuring that we have a comprehensive toolkit of options to consider. With a list of potential strategies, we move into the critical evaluation phase. This step involves a detailed analysis of each strategy to determine its viability and effectiveness. We assess factors such as cost effectiveness. Does the benefit justify the expense? Feasibility? Are there technological, legal or logistical barriers? Impact? How significantly will it address the problem? and environmental effects. What are the potential positive or negative environmental consequences? By creating a comparative framework, we can prioritize strategies that offer the greatest benefits while aligning with our vision and goals. This rigorous evaluation ensures that we invest resources wisely, focusing on initiatives that are practical, sustainable, and have the highest potential 
for positive impact on the transportation system. After selecting the most promising strategies, we transition into the plan development phase. Here, we synthesize the chosen strategies into a cohesive, actionable plan. This comprehensive document outlines the specific steps needed to implement each strategy, establishes timelines, and allocates resources accordingly. Community involvement is integral during this stage. Engaging with stakeholders, residents, business owners, and local officials helps refine the plan to reflect on the community's needs and values. We conduct public meetings and workshops to gather input and foster a sense of ownership among those who will be affected by the changes. The result is a well-rounded plan that not only addresses technical aspects, but also has community support. Implementation is where planning meets action. The strategies outlined in the plan are put into motion through coordinated efforts among various agencies and stakeholders. Infrastructure projects might commence, such as building new bike lanes or expanding transit facilities. Operational changes, like adjusting bus routes or schedules, are rolled out to improve efficiency. Throughout implementation, effective project management is essential to keep initiatives on schedule and within budget. Communication with the public continues to be important, informing them of changes and how they might be affected. This phase turns the abstract concepts of the plan into tangible improvements that enhance daily transportation experiences for community members. The final yet ongoing step in the planning process is monitoring and feedback. This involves systematically tracking the performance of implemented strategies against our predefined targets. Utilizing technologies like sensors and data analytics, we collect real-time information on traffic flow, transit usage, and other relevant metrics. Feedback mechanisms, such as public surveys and community meetings, provide qualitative insights into how the changes are affecting people's lives. Planners review this data to assess whether the objectives are being met and to identify any unintended consequences. If the monitoring reveals that targets are not being achieved or if new challenges arise, the planning process cycles back to adjust strategies accordingly. This iterative approach ensures that the transportation system remains responsive and continues to evolve in alignment with the community's needs and the overarching vision. The transportation planning process is iterative and continuous. By diligently following these steps, we ensure our transportation systems evolve to meet present and future needs, staying true to our overarching vision. With a clear framework and strategic planning, we transform our vision into reality creating transportation systems that enhance the quality of life for everyone.